welcome to my crazy life. It's Lori and I have an unboxing for you today. I saw on YouTube and on TikTok people getting these Echo Park mystery boxes. This is not a mystery box because I couldn't find one, but also I wanted Christmassy stuff. So I went on to the Echo Park website and they were having a warehouse sale. So everything in this box cost me about $50, I think with, yes, it was like $54 with tax, but I got free shipping at $50. And Echo Park is the name of the company and they sell scrapbooking paper and different paper supplies. So we are going to open this up. I'm not 100% sure what I ordered. I mean, I know what I ordered, but I'm not 100% sure what everything is going to look like. I've never had these products before. So, oops, sorry. Let's take these out, move my box. Oh, let's not show everybody that. We just my receipt. $55.71 with shipping. And I think I got a discount because I was a new person or some suchness. All right, in the box comes the Echo Park. Ooh, catalog with some fun ideas in it. Oh, that's exciting, because I need ideas. I don't know what I'm doing. <gasps> Look at that little paper thing. Oh, fun, okay. So, you get a little catalog, which is exciting. Um, I did pick up two washi tapes. I don't really have a lot of Christmas, um, and I couldn't really see it on my phone too well, but I'm kind of excited. I do love a plaid. Can you see that? Yeah, let me see if I can get the light a little bit. Ooh. Don't go doing that. Let me, I'm trying to get some better lighting. Here we go. Okay, plaid. It is green and red. And then this is like gingerbread. Is that blurry? I don't think so. Or wood. It's wood grain with like stars. So I got some washi tape. It feels very nice. Okay, then we ordered ephemera. This is fall. And here's what you get was curious to see and all of this was like I wonder if they give me the pricing they do okay the washi tape wood grain was two dollars and the Christmas plaid was two dollars so these two were two dollars a piece which is very reasonably priced the ephemera were also two dollars for the entire pack and ephemera, if you're not familiar, is just little peak cutouts of designs to help you with your card making or whatever that you're doing. So I have pumpkin spice makes everything nice. There's little words and they're just little decorations, all different sizes. Oh, I think I probably ordered it because I saw something coffee related, if I know myself. Maybe not. I guess not. Oh, look at that. Hello, Autumn. Adorable. These are little frames. So it's like a twofer. So you can punch out this little center and use that for something. And then you have a frame to decorate. So they're just little decorations that are already cut out for you. And it's on cardstock, so it's a little heavier. This says, oh, Autumn, please don't ever leave me again. <laughs> adorable so I got fall and I got Christmas ephemera and these were both two dollars a piece if I remember correctly which I probably don't I think they were regularly like seven dollars maybe but that's for fall and then these are the Christmas ones that you get so you oh I love that one Santa Claus stockings it's very vintagey which is what I wanted so I got the two packs of ephemera and then I grabbed, what is this? Oh, a paper pack. Oh, sorry, 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 sorry. This is just regular paper and it is gingham and plaid. It is double-sided and it's nice and heavy. I don't know if it says what weight paper it is. This is from 2018 and this paper pack here was $7.50. And you get 12 pieces of 12 by 12. And look, you get the gingham on one side. 
and then the plaid or the smaller gingham and the larger. And you get, let's see what colors. Green, two pieces of green, a burgundy, a yellow, a brown. These are very fall. Well, yeah, a teal and an orange. So that makes me happy because these will be exciting to use as like, I can use them for all th sorts of things, you know, because I'm a paper crafter now, who knew? Um, and I thought this spending $50 was better for me than buying a mystery box of stuff that I probably wouldn't use because I'm kind of very specific. But these were seven, this was $7.50. Oh, I got something under my nail. And then, oh yes, I did buy coffee. This is all coffee paper. How exciting is that? And I think there's a cut apart. Yep, you get a cut apart. Oh, this is a snap apart. Okay, this is fun. So these are on cardstock and you just snap them out. They're already pre-cut. Look it. Let's go on a coffee run. Make your coffee be strong and your Monday be short. Oh my goodness. And then you get a little of the plaid here. And then you get paper. Oh, that's fun. So you get, oh, these are fun. Dear coffee, I need you. Love me. So these are, I think these are four by four. One, two, three. Yeah, four inch by four inch cut aparts. Make cards with those. Lots of stuff. And then we have this paper. We have coffee beans, coffee flowers, and coffee cups, like espresso. Oh, I love that. And then these are more cut aparts, but if you don't want the cut aparts, you just use the other side. Oh, that is so pretty. Um, more cut aparts. Some help. That could be for Halloween. And then on the other side, you're getting three by threes. And then this whole sheet just says iced coffee espresso, and this is just cups of coffee. And then strips. Oh, what a fun set of paper. Uh, we have this green and on the back, oh, iced coffee, coffee cups, all your baked goods, some more to make cards with. I love that. More coffee cups and then more cut aparts. So this is a very user friendly for me set because I'm kind of new to all of this. And I can just cut these out and use them at my leisure, right? I am gonna leave them in their plastic and I don't know if these will fit in my plastic paper boxes that I do need to go through and clean out. Because I know they're 12 by 12, but there's an extra bit on there. So I'll have to see, I hope they fit because it keeps up my paper protected and I don't need more paper. The only thing I need at this point is some more tape rollers. I'll show you at the end here, something I've been making. There we go. And I like that they come in their own cellophane little protect protection sleeve. And ooh. Sorry. Now this one here, this kit was, I think, $34.99 $34 for this set. So I'm going to make some room here. Let me put that over there. Okay. So this is a paper kit. And this is really what I wanted. See, you get all kinds of goodies in this whole set and it all coordinates, which is exciting. So we're gonna pop it all out and we're gonna see what we got. I sort of saw, but I wasn't really sure. So you get these ephemera here. Again, oh, the vintage Santa, look at that, ho, ho, ho. And then you get another pack. So you get two of the ephemera. Frame. This is frames and tags and this is ephemera. So you get Two sets of these, and they each this they each come with 34 little die cuts. And I don't have a die cutting machine, nor do I need one, so this is perfect. 
it comes with a sticker sheet and these are puffy like textured and puffy stickers which is exciting these are adhesive puffy stickers they take me right back to eighth grade ninth grade i don't know how many you get one two three four five Like 22, 23, 24 maybe. Little stickers. Oh, that's so cute. To make whatever. Then you get these enamel dots that also match. And they're just a sticky back enamel dot. But they're all in different sizes. But they match this set. Now, these are chipboard cutouts. So, they're, it's hard. And you can put them on cards or use them to decorate. Oh, look at Santa in here so we got this chipboard set and this one um i think you just get one of each yes so these but they all go with this vintage set so i could i'm all set to make whatever i'm making i don't know what i'm making and then you got two packs of paper so this is just your solid card stock with all the coordinating colors right that go with the vintage Christmas vibe, which I am here for. So you get your green, your pink, your blue, your cream, your tealy blue, and then a Christmas red. And these are just solid 12 by 12 sheets for card making or whatever. And then you get this pack. So a whole pack on top of all of that. I mean, I just felt like I was not going to be able to beat this deal. And I, again, Maybe the next time I hear that they're having the mystery box, I'll order one. But for now, I wanted to see the packaging and the quality. So what is this? These are, are these stickers? Yes, these are sticker sheets. So you get your ugly sweater. Oh my God, it's so cute. So these are stickers that go with the paper set. Then you have your green. Oh, I love that some Christmas stripes, and then all your cutouts. And this is awesome because these are gift tags or if you're making an advent calendar because it's one to 25 or actually to 30. That's nice for the whole month of December. They're tags if you wanna do a um, advent. You get your Christmas stars on that side and Christmas lights. Plaid, we love plaid. <gasps> and stockings. Oh my gosh, that's so cute. Uh, very colorful snowflakes on this side. And then your large ones here. These are like for Christmas cards. I could just glue these on the top of a card and mail them out if I wanted to. Or I could put it on there and then take like the chipboard piece and glue over it to give it that three dimension. Uh, some green with white polka dots and stripes. I do love a stripe. Oh, that's cute. Garland. And then red and white snowflakes. This is a blue on dark blue. I'm not sure if you're seeing this pattern. Here you go. So pretty. And then some smaller. You can make little notebooks out of these. Super easy. It's ugly sweater season. I love that. Maybe we'll make some notebooks. This is just a page. They're stamps. You could use the whole sheet or you could cut these out individually and use them to decorate. But again, it all matches. And then a big... A big piece if you're a scrapbooker, but I'm not a scrapbooker. Uh, the red, oh, with some, some vintage Santas. So cute. And then your stars and some more pieces to make little cards, notebook covers. There's a million things you can do with that. Some just red with some plaid lines and then, oh, amazing. So all of this came in this kit for $34. And I think that was a fantastic deal. Now, in order to make it more cost efficient, if you will, you need to order, um, spend $50 to get free shipping. But I thought, I think if I signed up with my email or something, I saved 10%, which was nice. Yes, I got a discount of $5.80 for signing up with my email. And then I just used that $5.80 and ordered, ordered some other 
other things with it. So that's everything I got from Echo Park. I'm very impressed with the quality. I've, like I said, I've never had this before. I've never been like a scrapbooker, but I do love paper. So there's that. I'm not going to put the whole kit back in its plastic because that doesn't make sense, right? And then I will show you what I've been making with some scrapbook paper for right now. So I, well, I don't have the actual piece to show you because they're in here. But if you've ever been to Cracker Barrel, they sell the the candy sticks, like the, these are peppermint, but they have all the different flavors of sticks of hardtack. And at Cracker Barrel, they are 10 of them for $2. Hi, Dubs. So you get 10, any flavor candy stick you want for $2. So I got peppermint because, it, sir, can I help you? Thank you. Oh, yes. For $2, I'm going to go back and get 10 more because I need to take them to work. I wasn't sure what I was going to do with them, but then I figured it out. So I made a box out of my scrapbook paper. And this scrapbook paper, let me find the, the paper pack. I got, I don't know where it's at. I got it in Canada for $1.50. A whole pack of six by six, one-sided scrapbook paper. Oh, that one, look, it's not even right. It's not quite square, but that's okay. Um, stocking stuffers. If you're going to any kind of craft fair, I will put a sentiment out here of some sort. I'm going to put something on it and attach it with a ribbon or some such. This I just put together this evening. Um, and then I made myself a little template. So this is two and a quarter inches across. Don't look at these. I revamped it. I need to make a new sheet. But it's two and a quarter inches. I cut them. And then I scored them at half inch, half inch, half inch, half inch, and then a quarter inch. So when I fold it together and glue it, and I'll do a whole video on these, you get a box. And then a quarter of an inch, a quarter of an inch, and then I snip it there. I'm going to do a whole video. I have more to do. And then I'll show you what I'm going to do to decorate when I figure out what I'm going to do to decorate these. And I will have enough for everybody on my team and I can just leave it on their desk. And you know, like they're not all perfect and I don't really care to be fair. They're, it's enough. It's square enough, right? And then we decorate them and we're going to deliver them. Uh, for Christmas time. So that's why I'm doing it now. We're in November, but I'm trying to do like multiple desk things um, throughout the month of December for my team. So that's what I've been using scrap scrapbook paper for so far. I'm excited to see what I can make fun with this stuff. Like so excited for these. And I will of course bring you along on my adventure. So I hope you enjoyed this fun haul from Echo Park and yeah, enjoy. Have a good one. Bye.